starting at the age of 15 years old. Uh, and I sold it successfully up until the age of 27 when I got caught for the first time. Right down in VCU and um, doing things that I shouldn't have been down there. Like I was going against every rule that I have. You don't go down to VCU after 12 o'clock because they're looking for people. Um, my first time ever getting caught, I was sitting in the old Richmond City Jail looking at six years in prison. And um, it wasn't even a large amount of weed, but that's the system or the, the society we live in. Um, this is the first time I looked for something outside of myself, or something that I thought was outside of myself, so I prayed to God. I grew up in a very spiritual household. My grandmother's extremely spiritual. She, I thank her for the reason that I'm still here, because I didn't, I didn't have a prayer life. I just, yeah, I'm young, I'm free, and I'm excited about everything that's going on in my mind. But um, that's where I got. Those six days I was in prison in, in Richmond City, I prayed, 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 and long and behold, he turned six years into six days, a felony into a misdemeanor. But I still couldn't work at places like SunTrust or T-Mobile or any place that paid you more than $9 an hour. I had five children. I had four at the time. Um, I was married, uh, a divorce, but remarried. So like, I can't, I can't survive off of minimum wage. Like, it, I will be working just to pay child support. So uh, for a year, I asked a lot of questions. I did a lot of soul searching. I got really honest with myself. What was I doing wrong? Who, who was I hurting? Um, and I want y'all to know, like, y'all can share whatever y'all want. This is going to be a social gathering. So, like, if y'all do uh, see anything that you want to share or I say anything and you want me to repeat it, just let me know. I want y'all to, like, like Sue said, I want y'all this to be interactive. And this footage that I'm doing for y'all, y'all can have access to it and y'all can use it as promo footage as well. Um, but I asked a lot of questions and I started to get answers. So I launched a social media marketing firm. It allowed me to start learning about social media. And it's a lot to learn about social media. Um, I, I jumped into the network marketing realm and it showed me a lot about network marketing and business. I failed horribly at like four or five different companies. Like, I, I mean, I gave them about 3500 to almost $5,000 of my money without seeing any return. Um, I didn't have the right mindset. Like I, I, but I got around them and I started getting around books like uh, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale, uh, Psycho-Cybernetics by, uh, I think his name is Mark something, but it, it's dealing with the mind and overcoming paradigms. Thinking Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Like I read Thinking Grow Rich every two or three months or I let it read to me. Like audio, audio books is the best thing ever invented. Like I, I'm, I'm at a point now, this is a tidbit, I can read a seven hour book in three and a half hours on two times the speed and get just as much as reading it regularly. Because that's how I train my brain. Like I, I, you know, I intook well, well, over, well over 50 books last year um, and I'm jumping back into them because now I have a different perspective, a different outlook. And I, now reading Think and Grow Rich, it's, it's amazing, amazing. Um, and speaking of that, before we go any further, Think and Grow Rich, one of the principles, one of the success principles that he had, and this is a little tidbit for those who don't know about Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich. He took 25 years to write this book, and he, his mentor was Andrew Carnegie, who was up there with Rockefeller and money. Like, they were billionaires when people were making a dollar a day. So he sat down, and, and Andrew Carnegie knew that he was at the end of his rope, and he spent the first half of his life making billions and spent the second half giving it away. So he set it up, he gave, he gave Napoleon Hill the task to interview 50 of the richest people in the world. And he asked him, was he up to the task? And he gave him a minute, he gave them a minute in his head. And, Andrew, and, and Dale Carnegie, I mean Napoleon Hill, sorry, Napoleon Hill within 40 seconds said, yeah, I'll do it. And before that, he told him, you know what? It's gonna take 20 years to write this. You might not see any money, you're gonna lose some friends, people gonna think you crazy. Something like how we are as network marketers and insurance agents and real estate. Like, we don't do the normal jobs. Like, we, like we're here on a Wednesday and at a, listening to a, 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 all you know about me now is I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> listening to a drug dealer tell me how to make my business better. I told you our group was different. Yes, right? yes, yeah, so I appreciate that. But this task, one of the things that he did, he said, you must have a definiteness of purpose. Like, we call it goals now. But you have to have a definite purpose or you'll never achieve anything of great success. 
Like we do stuff that's successful because we went to colleges or we, we trained under certain places that embedded in us and we may succeed a little bit, but you don't know how to succeed over and over and over. My past three months, we just signed Dr. Willie Jolly to the tour. Like I, I just completed the ebook. Like we, we got 12 other speakers from all over the world that got contracts. I completed my first visa letter for uh, uh, one of our speakers from uh, Nairobi and she got accepted. Like these are things a year ago I wouldn't have thought of. The last time you were here, you were hoping to do your ebook. I was hoping to do my ebook. And yep. speaking of my ebook, I'm gonna give everyone a complimentary <clears throat> cop copy of the new version. That and some social media tips and guidelines as well. So uh, I'm gonna get your email from Robin and I'll shoot that information over. But um, when he told him about that definiteness of purpose, my definiteness of purpose was I'm gonna speak on a speaking tour and I want, I want everybody to know about Napoleon Hill. I want everybody to know about Dale Carnegie, how to win friends and influence people. Because as everybody know about them, they can change any business. One of my mentors now, he, who is a millionaire, last year he made about 975,000, but he's a regular person just like us. He's very successful in network marketing. He sat me down and said, Elijah, if I can teach you how to sell toothpicks and you can make six figures on it, would you learn? I said, absolutely. I don't care if it was tube socks. I don't care if it was the pin top of a pin. If I could make six figures doing it, I would do it. But at that point in time, I was chasing money. I was chasing money. So I'm, I'm, um, before we get further and we go any further, I want everybody to write down a three to five sentence paragraph of, of your definiteness of purpose for 2016. You don't have to think for the next five years, the next 10 years. 2016, where do I want my business? How do I want my relationship in life? This is just not a business club course. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. And T. Harv Ecker said that, and he's a millionaire as well. What I've learned is that stop taking advice from unsuccessful reporters on the news and start taking advice from people who don't even spend their time on the news. So I'm gonna get my, my, my rag and I need some, some water if possible, Robin, but while, while y'all do that, I'm gonna take about five minutes to get y'all definite and a purpose now. And I am gonna be chiming in with, with those to find out which of definitely for purposes.